night, so we moved the dozer over. Got it lifted up, and the rock's just hanging there. That is a, a good sized boulder. So there's your size comparison, I guess. And uh, our well, there's a generator. So we will use that to power. And over here, we've got our Bauer demolition hammer from Harbor Freight. We bought this thing years ago, several years ago when we bought our greenhouses. We had to remove the concrete from all the posts that went in the ground so that we could uh, haul it. And uh, sledgehammer worked on most of them, but we got some that where they put two, three bags of concrete in them and we couldn't break it with a sledgehammer. So we bought this and uh, we've used it a few times since, but this is uh, I think an 18 pound uh, demolition hammer. It's basically a small jackhammer. Now the uh, hammer drill that we recently purchased also has a uh, hammer demolition feature where we could do the same thing with it, but it's a lot smaller than this. And so I think it's a little bit small for the job that we're about to do. This also uses SDS type bits, but these are SDS Max, where the bits on the other one are SDS Plus. So, uh, let's see. We've got this big chisel bit, which I don't think is the right bit for this. We've got a pointy bit, and then we got a small chisel bit. So I think the point bit uh is what i'm going to use to start with because the intent here is to break the rock up and so i'm hoping that'll work if it doesn't work then i'll switch to this small chisel but i think that pointy bit will be my way to go so let me get everything set up and uh we'll see what we can do with that big boulder we're all set up keep having problems with our camera overheating so hopefully uh, it'll stay on a bit here but let's see what this will do moving the boulder maybe I can push it out from this side with it definitely chipping away a little bit and making some progress here but ain't as easy as I thought it would be this rock usually breaks pretty easy so I thought it'd bust up pretty good but it's not
Well, that ain't good. It's now stuck. Okay, unfortunately, it only pounds when it's going in. You can't vibrate it coming out. So, it chipped away and went in, but now it's stuck between the rock and the shank, which is a hard place. So, <laughs> I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. So, I'm going to take this... Uh, chisel small flat chisel and see if we can't uh, break this up some more so we can get our other pointed chisel out and hopefully get the the boulder out as well I mean it's chipping away so that's good or at least making progress chisel seems to actually work better than the pointed one. So here's what we got going on now. We've got our chisel here stuck in between the rock and the shank. But we've got it busted up. If we can get that chisel out, then the rock should come out too. So, we've cut all the side off. Let me see if I can hit it with a sledgehammer and move it. Gotta find my sledgehammer first. Got it. It's just 
just about moving that chisel out of there to free up the space we'd already chipped away. She fell right out. Huh, now we just gotta move this sucker. Another one done.